Today we are putting together the pop-off leather EDC DIY kit. Uh, in your kit you will be receiving your piece of leather which is pre-punched and pre-cut for your convenience. We actually have redesigned our pocket armor. Um, we used to include our EDCs with a piece of webbing and we've decided to redesign these with a full leather pen sleeve. Um, reason being is it's a lot stronger. Also in your kit, you're going to be receiving some thread, two needles, piece of leather, some sandpaper, and our pop-off leather balm. Not included is some white crafting glue, which you will need. You're going to need some scissors, a lighter, and some way to spread your glue. You can either use a piece of leftover cardboard or we do sell these online if you want to pick one up. It's just a beautiful glue spreader. We are going to be punching our EDC with our letter stamping kit. I'm going to put in the initials JM because I'm going to make this for my husband. I'm just going to give it a tap. And we're going to throw the J beside it. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to assemble our EDC. We're going to start with our glue. And we're going to be applying the glue to the outside edge only. So an L and a backwards L. So the two spots that are going to be touching. And the reason for this is we don't want to put glue too close to where the pen loop is. We want to make sure we leave enough room in case you've got a bit of a wider pen that you'd like to put in there. As soon as you put any kind of glue in the way, it can sometimes stop your pen from being able to be inserted in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our glue spreader. We're just going to even out the glue on the edge. Make sure that all the pieces are going to be touching. If you apply it nice and thinly, you won't have to wait too long for it to dry before you can tack it together. So you've got a nice even layer there now. So now that it's ready, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it together. Very simply, fold the piece in half, match up all the corners, make sure you can see through the holes so that when you're stitching you have a nice even stitch line. Okay. That's ready to go. We're going to do what's called a saddle stitch. This is a stitch that we use for most of our products that pop off leather. And we're going to go ahead and start by putting the needle on our thread. You feed it through, double back on itself, and about a quarter to an eighth of an inch, you pierce the thread back through. And then pull it tight. Repeat on the other side. So through, pierce through, and pull tight. Okay, I'm going to use a stitching pony to stitch up our product. If you don't have one, you can stitch by hand. I just find it easier with a stitching pony. Okay. So really simply, we're just going to insert our piece. We're going to start with the pen loop facing up. And that way when we back stitch our product at the very end, it means that this is going to be the strongest part of our product. So let's... Um, Go through how to do a style stitch. Insert your thread through the first hole, 
and pull the threads so that they're even. And then depending on which you are, left-handed or right-handed, you're going to insert, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna go right-hand first. I'm gonna insert through the second hole and let the thread drop. And then I'm gonna take the thread from the left-hand side, I'm gonna pull it through, and I'm gonna give it a little bit of tension. We're gonna repeat this for the entire product. As you're moving along with your stitches, you wanna make sure that you give the same amount of tension tug at the end. What it's gonna end up leaving you with is a really beautiful stitch line that's gonna be even, and it's gonna be laying flat up against your product. If you don't do that, what can happen is an uneven stitch line, and it'll look a little bit, a little bit messier than what would be preferred. So just to speed things up, um, the way we do it here at Pop Off Leather is that we will take both of our needles at the same time, and I'm gonna go through the rest of the way. The only thing to remember is to insert your needles the same way every single time. So we're coming to the end. We've got the last couple of stitches here. What we're gonna end up doing is a back stitch to lock our stitches in place. So we start that out by taking your left hand needle and feeding it through. And make sure you give it a little bit of tension. Make sure it lays nice and flat and bring it back through. That creates your first back stitch. And then the one at the very top on the right hand side, you're going to put through this hole here to create your second back stitch. We can take it out and we can burn it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to snip our threads. You're going to want to get pretty close to the product. You don't want to leave too much, otherwise you're going to have some really big burns. Then you're going to take your lighter and you're just going to create a bead on the surface. I'll give it a quick, quick tap. Make sure it's nice and flat. I've got a bit of a scratch there. Okay. So next what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to finish our edges. Um, with what we have available. So we've supplied some sandpaper for you. We're gonna go ahead and remove any of the excess glue that's been dried. Okay, and at the very end here, just grab it, just give it one last little Go on the corners. Okay, so we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of our leather balm on the edges, just to seal them up. We're gonna use this um, piece of leather that we've supplied for you, and we're just gonna give it a buff. We'll just create those smooth edges that you want. There, so now you can go ahead and you can load up your EDC.